for herself. Actually, we're going to share it. We're going to distribute it. So it is actually also related to the community. Hmm? Uh, well, let's now get back to software rights or actually software licenses. Hmm? What kind of software licenses do we know? Software licenses? Can you name some software licenses? Apache. Very good. MIT license. Hmm. GNU license. Very good. Very good. That's why we are here today. GNU licenses. Hmm. All right. So we know some licenses, but we got something that is called copyright. So, whenever you see a license, an international license in the world, there is something like this, copyright. It, it doesn't mean that a license is a kind of copyright, or copyright is a kind of license. It means that a license must be copyrighted. So, if something is not copyrighted, is it's not a license at all. But what about copyleft? Hmm? And do you think that copyleft is the opposite of copyright? It is something like this, and this, and this. Are they against each other? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm asking you the question. Are they against each other? Is it something like Barcelona and Real Madrid? Is it something like Istanbul and Persepolis? Are they each other's enemies? Well, would you please say it again? Yeah. Uh, I think copyleft is just to say that uh, copy it doesn't copyright it. Mm. Uh, copyleft never gets copyrighted. Thank you. Yes. Nothing else? Nothing else? Yeah. All right. One, two, three. Well, is it copyrighted or copylefted? The microphone. Now we got a wireless microphone. Much better than wires. I don't like wires. We're talking about software, and we need something soft. Well, now I'm in heaven with this microphone. Well, what do you think? The others, tell me, copyright is against copyleft? Even you can say it in Persian. Yeah, I am free. Yeah, what about you? Are uh, copyleft and copyright, are they fighting to each other? No, oh, I'm better. No, I'm better. Is it something like this? Because, you know, um, these kind of rules has been written in English, and English is somehow sometimes not very clear. Right. As an adjective is the opposite of wrong. All right? For example, I will write. Hmm? But right as a noun means, and right
So, what is copy? What does copy mean? Copy. All right? So, we are going to share the new Linux distributions. Isn't there any for the So it is, first of all, a write. First of all, we need some, somehow write. But copyleft is a concept, not actually a kind of copyright or a kind of license. It's a concept of licensing. Hmm? Free software licenses, first of all. We're talking about free software licenses. There are four primary rules in free software. Can you name them? What is the first freedom? The first freedom. What is the first freedom in free software? The freedom? No, 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 no. What is the first rule? Libra. It is French. Libre. C'est libre, monsieur. And in English, also, we have the word liberty. You know liberty? The Statue of Liberty in the United States of America, like this, in New York. You've seen it, like this. All right? That's Statue of Liberty, called Statue of Liberty, not Statue of Freedom. Hmm? But freedom means liberty, and libra means free. Hmm? We can't say free software. We can say Libra software, or we can say software Libra, or we can say freedom respecting software. Hmm? There are lots of words to use. What is the second rule? Tell me. To copy it? To change it? Very good. Beautifully put. Now, are you the owner? Are you the owner of the software? What do you think? software because is it on because uh, you didn't design the first layer of that software because of this you are not its owner okay thank you yeah uh, the base actually the base of the software hasn't been written by you so you should follow the license that existed before nice thank you the right to copy it. If I copy it, there is no problem. All right? There is no problem. But uh, because uh, maybe I'm going to use it for a private benefit. Mm -hmm. And Debian, what is the license of Debian operating system? Debian, as an example, my favorite operating system, one of them, GPL. What does it stand for? Uh, what should I do? Which rule should I follow? Tell me, step by step, tell me. I'm a developer, I'm a professional developer, but I don't know anything about rights. You help me. I'm gonna sell it. I'm going to earn money. Do I have the right to sell it? First of all. Yes. I have the right to sell it. I told you, free software, free as in freedom. You can charge Parsex company for thousands of billions of dollars, but it must be freely. What does it mean? If I sell the software,
the software must be able to be used, to be studied, to be copied, and to be changed. So, even whenever you sell the software, you have to make the whole source open. The whole source open. Still, still, it is private. Because I'm not gonna share it in a community. I just sold it to a software company. And maybe the software company is using the operating system, Hamid operating system as a web server and doesn't want anyone to use it except that software company. But now, I sign a contract between me and the software company. Now I'm going to share it among the community. It's going to be public, right? So, I should follow these rules. GNU public license is a copy lefted license. All right? So, any question about freedom rules number one, two, three, and four? No question? In free software, in free software licenses, there are two kind of licenses. Uh, some friends of us mentioned some licenses like MIT license. Hmm? MIT license is also a kind of free software license. GPL is also a kind of free software license. But what is the difference or what are the difference? Let's check it out. There are two kinds of licenses in free software. The first type is called protective licenses and the second one is called permissive licenses. Does anyone know the difference? Anyone? The difference? Permissive? Protective? You need to know a little bit of philosophy to divide it into two types. Well, GPL is a kind of the first one, protective. What is a protective license? It, uh, roughly speaking, it is something like more than 90% of the software must be free. It is permissive you are allowed to use some parts. Like 40% of the source code is not available. This is permissive. But protective, what should be protected? The community. The community should be protected. So, GNU public license is a kind of protective license. Well, we'll refer to protective licenses again. Can you name some permissive licenses? <coughs> permissive licenses? You name the university. Adok. MIT. MIT license, very good. It's a kind of permissive license. It means that the University of MIT says that we they have written the source code, the whole source code, and they say that we are going to spread free knowledge all over the world, but we have worked on it. This is ours. Sometimes they think like proprietary software. Sometimes maybe they think like free software, but if they want to be called free software, they have to be at least 60% free. 
Again, not free of charge. No, no, no. Free as in freedom. You can fly. Hmm? Well, MIT license, permissive licenses, writing with blue. Hmm? MIT license is actually kind of those licenses. Actually, there is uh, another famous permissive license. Can you name it? Have you ever heard of Minix operating system? Programmed and developed by Mr. Andrew Tannenbaum. Minix operating system. It is also free software. Hmm? What is the license? Which are actually kinds of protective licenses. More than 90%. So, all right, all right. Uh, more than 90% of the source code is free to study, share, modify. But uh, how can you defer it? How can you determine it with open source software? For example, Google Android. It is open source software. Hmm? Maybe uh, more than 90% of the source code is available. Maybe 100% of the source code is available. Open source. So what is the difference between open sourced software license and copy lefted free software license? In open source, everything we are talking about is practical. It's everything about coding, programming, doing everything about, uh, let's say, web developing, hacking. Hmm? For example, if a license is open source, you have the whole source and you can simply use it. Why? Because Google believes that in six months, Google will publish another version of software and the previous one becomes old fashioned. So it's not a problem. It's not a problem if we use the whole source code of the old fashioned. All right. So everything we are talking about in open source licenses is related to programming methodology, the methods for programming, the methods for coding, for developing. We're not talking about the prestige. The prestige, not the, uh, uh, I don't mean the prestige we use in Persian. Uh, actually the prestige, which means In free software, maybe the whole source code is not available. But what is the utmost important thing is the prestige. First of all, the source code is not important. First of all, the freedom to use, the freedom of humanity, the freedom of the coder, the freedom of the user, the modifier, the distributor, the company, the community, the world is important. In free software, all right, uh, practically speaking, uh, if we just uh, talk about the practical matters, there is no difference between open source and free software. But whenever we're talking about the freedom, how to be free, it is this one. When I was here, uh, first of all, one person came in, came into the hall, then the second person, then four persons, then six persons. All right. If I'm going to be open source, I should be. Yeah, you can come. I'm open source. You can use it. But I'm not going to give you the freedom. Hmm? If you speak Persian, 
Do not stay here. This is open source style. Hmm? But free software style from the very beginning says that if you want to come in, you're welcome. Free software, first of all, welcomes you. All right? But you are free to choose. You are free to leave. You are free to stay. But open source only talks about the matters on the board, the stuff, coding, programming, not the rules. So if there is no framework, I cannot define my freedom. Well, <coughs> well, any question about permissive licenses? Permissive licenses, you know that it's not still open source. Huh? It's not open source. Huh? It is still free software. But, for example, BSD license, uh, Minix operating system, it is a research at a university like uh, Free University of Amsterdam operating system, uh, Minix operating system written by Mr. Andrew Tannenbaum. Sorry. Uh, it is a research at a university. So the university needs to keep researching and researching and researching. Then when it is completed, it is fulfilled, then maybe they publish the whole source code. All right? So uh, it's not about the community. The community is not very, very strong here. Any question about permissive licenses? I'm going to ask some people a question. What is a permissive license? I just came in and I don't know, so sorry. Can anyone explain the permissive license to the lady which is really necessary? I want all of you to know permissive licenses. They're really important. Thank you for recording on the spot on the spot. You were spotting me, huh? All right. Permissive licenses. Again, I'm telling you, there are two kinds of free software licenses, two types. Hmm? Protective licenses and permissive licenses. We will talk about protective licenses like GNU public license. Now, we are talking about permissive licenses. A permissive license is a license that permits you to use, study, share, and change a software, but not totally, up to a point. For example, there is a research at the University of MIT, and 60% of the source code is available. You are allowed to use, study, share and change it but not more than 70 percent because it's a research it's not going to be used by a community yes somehow it's going to be used by the community of developers programmers but not all the people in the world so it's not a public license but here now let's go to the actual part of it. GNU public license. GNU public license or GPL is a kind of copyleft license. We don't have copyleft only in software, only in hardware, not only in computations. We also have protective licenses, like copyleft licenses, in art, in literature. We have this kind of license. Now, who knows about copyleft?
Go five minutes. Five minutes. Copy left. Do you know anything about copy left? If you don't tell me, we don't have the time, I have to write it on the board. We should use copyright. For example, uh, you download the whole source code of Debian operating system, the whole source code. At the beginning of the source code, you can see that Debian, blah, 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 copyrighted by Debian community. It's a copyleft license. All right. I told you, English language is not very clear, is not very obvious. <coughs> right. You know the meaning of the word right? And the meaning of left. Also, we have right and we have left. All right? But this right is not this right, and this left is not this left. When you leave somewhere or something, now we got time. Now we got time. Sorry. Uh, <coughs> this right is this right, and that left is this left. Yeah, now we got time. But leave. When you leave somewhere, all right, left, this left means the past tense of leave. So, right and left. Copy left is actually a game which has been played on the word copyright to make you eager. Hmm? It's just a game, a simple game. All right? Now, when you use copy left, when do we use copy left? When we want to have some copies left. When we want to share, when we'd like to share something with the community. It is copy left. All right. Is that clear? Question? Question? If you don't ask any question, I will be asking questions. I'm going to ask you a question. What is a copy left, sir? I don't know. Copy left. Copy left in is when we make some copies to give it free to someone else or maybe not free. Free. What do you mean by free? By free, <coughs> I mean uh, the person. By free, I mean the person who we give the program to that person. He can see the codes behind it. So, do you charge the person? Do you mm. take some money from the person? I think we can charge him, or maybe we can't. I don't know this. All right. Thank you. We are free to charge the person who we are giving the program. We can charge the person, or we cannot. But we should. We should consider freedom. First of all, freedom is important, not the source code. Second of all, the source code becomes important. Like the source code is not something like being in heaven or hell. I'm just telling you that the source code is something quite under control. Even in open source licenses, you can use the source code, maybe the whole source code. I'm telling you again. All right. Copy left is a license only for sharing an operating system among the community. All right. It means that, for example, there is a 
famous operating system, Ubuntu. All right? You download the operating system from the website, from ubuntu.org. You download the program, the software, the operating system. But something that you need is sharing the software. You don't want to use the code. You don't want to program it. You don't want to modify it. And you don't want to use it. You just want to share it. You just want to copy it, another CD, another DVD, another USB flash, and you want to share it. Now, for sharing, we need copyleft licensing. GNU Public License, GPL. It says that when you copy this, you can even sell it. You didn't pay anything for the operating system. You just downloaded it from the website. But you can sell it. This is a very nice business. You don't pay for anything, but you can sell it. Now you are knowing that by free software, we can earn more money. We don't pay, and we get paid. We don't pay, and we get paid. Again, we don't pay, and we will get paid. Why? Why this license gives you the right to sell something that you didn't pay anything for it? Because you know the rights. You know the freedom. You are a programmer. You are a distributor. You are an engineer. You have the knowledge. You have the free knowledge. You are the man of free software. And you are the person who wants to share free software with the world. So you got the profession. You are an expert. Have you ever watched the film, The Dark Knight, I'm Not a Hero? The Joker says, if you're good at something, never do it for free. Never do it for free. But do it freely. Free as in freedom, again. So, uh, let's see. For example, Ubuntu. I don't like Ubuntu, but it's a very famous and very powerful operating system. I download the source code from ubuntu.org, and I'm going to sell it. How can I sell it? You cannot go to, a, for example, to a fast food and say that I've got an operating system. It is better than Microsoft Windows. It is better than Apple Macintosh. It is better than Chromebook. It is better than Android. Buy it. Can I sell the software like this? Yes? yes? yes. Why yes, sir? freedom you have the freedom yeah. nice thank you why not uh, people uh, don't understand uh, freedom software uh, how uh, good and uh, they can uh, they uh, usually use Windows mm -hmm. all right the yes is correct and the no is correct all right the yes is uh, of, uh, referring to the right. You are free to do it. You have the freedom to do it. You have the freedom to sell it. But no means that the people do not understand it. Again, sir, I tell you that. We are professionals. We are experts. And we have the right to distribute it. And we are getting paid because we are the people who can install it. Modify it, share it, use it, redistribute it, develop it, redevelop it, and so on. So, if I'm a professional and I cannot make a person, a very, very simple person, a non-developer, a non-programmer, a person who doesn't know anything about computer science, about computer software, I'm the person who is a professional. So, I should know how to present it. 
We should learn how to present free software to the people who are using proprietary software. <coughs> now, I'm going to do it. I'm going to make money out of downloading Ubuntu from ubuntu.org for free, and I'm going to get paid. I'm going to earn some money. Can anyone give me a solution how to present it to a person who doesn't know anything about computer software? Any solution? No solution? Um, uh, I'm let you cheat on it. Well, first of all, I should tell you that on supercomputers, there are only and only GNU Linux operating systems being used. So, on a personal computer, it cannot work. Yes, it can. It can work properly on personal computers. And I'm using a personal computer. I need an operating system which its kernel is being used on supercomputers. Is it a bad thing? More speed? More reliability? It is enough that, uh, for example, if you're using a copyrighted Microsoft Windows, as an example, you have to pay like blah, blah, blah dollars for the Microsoft Windows, then blah, 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 blah dollars for the Microsoft Office, then blah, 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 blah dollars for the Work with this. Oh. Now we should say goodbye to the world of wireless. Now oh, we've got wires again. Everywhere. Well, what should we do then? Isn't this enough that we are selling an operating system which never accepts any viruses? You don't need no antivirus. No. You don't need uh, no backup application. It is enough, right? You're using an operating system which never accepts viruses. But in Microsoft Windows, there are lots of viruses, different kinds of viruses. And every day, you should update your antivirus and anytime you update your antivirus the speed of your computer the speed of your operating system decreases if you don't uh, if you are not working with Photoshop if you are not working with famous different famous applications on Windows for sure, you cannot make a deal out of it. Daily routines, office works. Yeah, Linux is the best. We don't have uh, something like Photoshop on Linux, but if the person is not using with Photoshop, why not Linux? Why not GNU Linux? Day by day, applications of proprietary software are being written under free software licenses. And it's getting updated and more updated. So, uh, let's make another example. You go to another shop. Good morning. Good morning. I have an operating system. All right, how can I help you? I'm going to sell it to you. All right, uh, what is the use of it? I'm using Macintosh. Uh, the use of it is the maintenance. Well, how so? Uh, it means that you don't need to update your antivirus in Macintosh? Virus? I'm not sure. Well, uh, all right. Um, I'm using Apple Macintosh. I've got a MacBook, and it doesn't accept any virus. So, the next benefit of GNU Linux. You think that, uh, blah, 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 blah. Maintenance. 
maintenance. What does it mean? It means that you didn't pay anything for Ubuntu, but you're charging a person for Ubuntu. Gratis, moft, and now you're charging the person. The person is accepting your welcome. You're welcome. The maintenance, it means that, all right, buy this operating system from me, and then I give you two years maintenance. What does it mean? Uh, I can handle it, I can update it, upgrade it, I can install different applications, blah, 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 blah. And now, there is something. Mr. Richard Stallman believes that uh, when we are charging the people and we didn't pay anything for the operating system and we are charging the people, this way we are giving them maintenance, the service, and then we have money in our pockets and we have time to write programs. We have time to not think about the money. All right. Uh, Mr. Macintosh user. Yes, please. Uh, if you buy this operating system, I give you two years service, maintenance. And also, if you need any application, I will write the application for free. Ah, oh, this is something. This is something. It is good. Maybe every day you need an application. Huh? Every day you need an application to be written. And Mr. Macintosh user is really satisfied with it. Hmm? But all right, this is a way, this is a way to convince the user to use GNU Linux operating system. Totally, generally speaking, to use free software. Now, there is something else to present free software. Present freedom in free software. Hmm? All right, uh, Mr. Macintosh user, do you know that everything that you are using is being logged at the servers at the company which is called Apple. Apple can access everything. Mr. Android user, are you satisfied? Everything is being locked. The person who is watching you is not being watched by you. Like, uh, who uses Instagram here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Instagram? Seventeen. All right. For example, I got a photograph. This is a photograph of me. All right. In a framework in Instagram. And you are my friends, I'm going to share this photo with you as my friends. Alright. And Mr. Zuckerberg is not a friend of mine. Why Mr. Zuckerberg should see my photo? Am I going to share the photo with my friends and Mr. Zuckerberg or am I going to share me as a as an Instagram user, but he's not making any comments. No. Only watches. Mm -hmm. Like it. Like it. Like it. Mr. Zuckerberg. Who is Mr. Zuckerberg? A person, all right. The president of Instagram. But a web application is making the people losing their freedom. Is it really freedom?
But uh, some, some of them are somehow much better, way better. Minutes. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right, so uh, unfortunately, I myself am using Instagram, but in two days, I'm going to shift on different social networks. I'm not going to use it anymore because uh, I've heard that Mr. Zuckerberg is not a trustee. Hmm? Get your information for free and sells it to other people. Maybe Mr. Zuckerberg is using copyleft. Huh? Downloading for free and charging people, right? So, let's see that. Copyleft is not against copyright. Okay, I've got a software, I've got an operating system, and I'm going to sell it to people, but I'm not using copyleft license. I'm not using GPL license. Who's going to sue me? Who's going to take me to the court? Hmm? No one? You sure? Who, who is this? Who is the sure guy? I cannot see you. It's not sure now. Not sure now? Alright, thank you. But uh, let me see. <coughs> uh, please do not insult copyright because copyleft is powered by copyright. Copyright is not talking about freedom. It's only talking about the product, the thing you are buying and selling. But copyleft is talking about freedom. But if you don't use the freedom, if you don't use the rules in copyleft, you will be sued by copyright law. It's copyleft has been powered by copyright. So I told you, that right is not this right, and that left is not this left. That right is your rights, your freedom, and that left is the past tense of nothing left. All right? The past tense of leave. And this right So this way we are praising freedom. We are praising the freedom in knowledge, in science, in software. Hmm? But we must make sure that there are some people, some authorities that sue the people who don't use the copyleft while using copyleft products. Any question? Any question? Sure? Isn't it flawed to sell something to somebody that he can't download it from Ubuntu.org? I didn't get that. <coughs> Ubuntu is a kind of copy left operating system. Copy left license is not talking about the money. Hmm? Uh, for example, a copyrighted program, for example, MS Windows, it's a copyrighted program. Mm -hmm. You don't want to download it, you tell Microsoft that I'm going to copy it and give it to another person. Microsoft says that, alright, give me the money, 
I'm going to charge you, then we are free to copy it. Mm -hmm. So copyright is mostly talking about the money, but copy left in this way is the opposite of copyright. It's not talking about the money. The money doesn't relate to the copyright license. Mm -hmm. It wants to make sure, it means that you download the operating system from ubuntu.org and for example you charge the person who's going to buy ubuntu from you one hundred dollars hmm? still there is nothing wrong all right now a person is using ubuntu this person bought ubuntu from you all right now the person understands that Ubuntu is free software. Hmm? So I am free to study the source code. I am free to have the code and modify it. I am free to share it. Comes back to me. Give me the source code. I'm telling that I'm not giving you the source code. He can download it online, but he's asking me, I'm the person who sold the operating system to that person. He has the right to receive the source code from me. If I don't give him the source code, I will be punished by copylefted license, which is powered by copyright law. So, without copyright, there is no clear definition of copyleft. Hmm? Clear? All right. Any question? Questions? Copyleft one. Copyleft two. Copyleft three. No questions? All right, let's have a clap for yourselves. Thank you all.